Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I am in Los Angeles, California on the Angel's Crest Highway and I am having with me the very first electric pickup truck at the same time. It's not only that, it is the fastest pickup truck in the world. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it is the Rivian R1T. 835 horsepower, approximately 1,230 newton meters of torque. Whoa, I've been driving it since yesterday and I'm telling you, it's nothing I've driven before, which feels like this Rivian. So let's get on with the review, starting off with a quick walk around of how the car looks from the front. The Rivian looks extremely sci-fi and futuristic from the front and it is definitely dominated by that LED bar and uh, which is actually the headlights and the turn indicators. So it does have exposed tow hooks uh, which really add to that off-road expedition feel of the car. Sorry, truck. <laughs> so it also has a frunk which uh, opens up and uh, which adds to the overall practicality of the Rivian. There you go. Coming to the side, it is absolutely athletic from this angle and uh, I would not say it's muscular but athletic is the right word. Overall the proportions of this truck are very manageable in city conditions as well as it looks fairly large and imposing out in the open. Let's just have a closer look at the wheels and tyres. So yes, uh, these are 20 inch rims. They come standard because this is the launch edition and uh, it's, uh, let me just check the tire size, it's 275-65 R20. So a definite thick uh, rubber uh, provided by Rivian. So as I said, these are the launch edition spec rims and tires. They come uh, standard with this setup. The newer variants which are still back ordered are coming with 21s. And I'm not really sure whether they have all terrains or street tires. A closer look out here. Yeah. This is where you charge your Rivian. We have nice Rivian logo, which is having a dual tone silver yellow, again matching with the calipers, plus door handles, which uh, have a very simple yet, uh, you know, you can say, let me just operate it for you. There you have it. So yeah, this is the key. It looks like a biner and the people who go ex uh, on trekking or hiking would recognize this design. It's a very, uh, you can say, very smart use of uh, design elements. Okay, so while we are at it, let me just open the door and give you a quick sneak peek into the interiors. Oh yeah, this logo out here saying manufactured by Rivian and uh, the manufacturing date is I believe February 2022 so a very very new truck and uh, so those of you who don't know Rivian is an uh, Californian based uh, uh, actually Irvine California to be specific that's where this uh, truck is made it's a small electric startup which has been uh, there uh, silently working on this automobile since about 2018 and uh, it's just since last late last year the delivery started and uh, already it has received a lot of love 
for from uh, all the owners and the prospective buyers and it's uh, sort of sold out and uh, back ordered speaking of the rear design this is how the entire rear stance is for the Rivian R1T pickup truck just like the front the rear gets the LED bar treatment which acts as a large brake light as well as turn indicators so I really love again the use smart use of uh, the theme yellow out here which is uh, again very tasteful here we have the bed that's how it opens up whoa extremely smart looking again all electric operation Oh, I forgot something at the side which I wanted to show you. Here, if you press this button out here, it opens up this transmission tunnel area, which makes an extreme practical outlook at how space is managed by at Rivian. And uh, something again, Specific to Rivian, I haven't seen this in any other SUV, truck or a car. So again, absolutely unique and sort of a USP for this truck is that transmission tunnel storage area. So yeah, this is how the truck looks. This has been an extremely overwhelming experience for me since yesterday. And uh, now let's just take a look inside and get to the driving so that I can showcase you the real, real USP of this truck. And that is the acceleration. Now, as I said, the highlight of this truck is its acceleration. So without wasting any further time, let's just get on with how fast this truck accelerates. So for that, I'll put into sport mode. It automatically uh, goes into the low right height position and uh, completely makes you ready for the roller coaster experience you are about to have all right let's just go for it oh <laughs> that's already 70 miles per hour approximately very believable very believable that the actual uh, factory time which is the quoted three seconds flat is viable and I would say that confidently because that 3 second factory uh, uh, 0 to 60 time is of the truck on the street tires. Whereas we are running on proper off-road Scorpion all-terrain tires which are <laughs> still gripping very well. And there was no hint of wheel spin. That is how great the traction control system is in the Rivian and I would say that uh, there are a lot of uh, engineers who had actually uh, joined uh, Rivian from McLaren so I see a lot of uh, suspension trickery uh, traction control trickery uh, happening because of them and uh, that really makes this truck a sports truck and a very fast one. Oh, see that? Whoa. <laughs> this is something else it's a very heavy truck too and still the way it manages the suspension uh, which is again air suspension and uh, it is having a very easy time out here on the canyon roads which is something extremely rare for a vehicle this size and dimensions with its weight. So what's contributing it to be making it so fast? The answer is very simple, but it's very lengthy as well. It is one motor at each corner. Yeah, so totally four electric motors are powering this electric truck to give it such fierce acceleration. And uh, these four 
motors are actually the magnetic motors and uh, they in total they in totality churn out approximately 835 horsepower and 1230 newton meters of torque oh it's just relentless definitely worthy of the fastest pickup truck title holder which is the riven r20 it is definitely worthy of that another important factor in continuation of that i would like to say that that amount of power and torque is available at 0 rpm and the motors keep spinning and the power keeps being relentless till the motors reach their limit at 18500 rpm so <laughs> that's tremendous and i would say it's something you need to experience it to believe it few more things which are contributing to the great handling is an all independent suspension which is uh, really doing a good job and in addition to that the underbody is completely flat and uh, because uh, the platform is uh, a typical skateboard design platform which enables the battery uh, you know the packaging in such a way that uh, the underbody is flat and uh, Rivian for the R1T have given uh, because this is an off road style pickup they've given it a good amount of uh, you can say a rough road package kind of covering which uh, makes it sort of indestructible while you would be out on a trail or rock crawling as well so this is the kind of uh, you can say extremisms uh, the riven r1t can handle it can be a proper sports truck while out on this kind of a road and it can also be doing all the off roady bit for you while out in the wild few more things which i wanted to highlight is that when you are in the conserve mode which is the eco mode of the rivian it becomes a front wheel drive to save range and uh, while you are in sport mode the way i am it's on all wheel drive but slightly rear biased and uh, which gives it a more sporty feel out on roads like these so, well it cannot be all sunshine there is uh, definitely a negative uh, you can say which i would like to highlight and that is the brake energy regeneration which is the regenerative braking and uh, that is something which even in the standard mode is pretty aggressive and it takes away a lot of momentum sort of acts as a braking system which you don't require but that's a small uh, thing a critical uh, observation from my side uh, in driving the rivian since about uh, almost 20 hours and uh, 200 odd miles so far okay so to conclude things i would say that uh, i have been driving the rivian since uh, yesterday and i have been in the us since about a week or so now and this is the first rivian i saw the one which i am driving right now and uh, there haven't been so much of uh, production lately but at the same time the demand is sky high and hence the cool factor the overall uh, uniqueness factor of this truck remains absolutely phenomenal currently uh, also when this truck was launched it was available for just around 84000 us dollars and riven has already increased the prices for this truck and it's now retailing well over 90000 dollars but in the resale market uh, the launch edition cars are already selling for all, uh, approximately 30% premium in the american market so that says a lot about how the brand has tasted success and how much love the consumers have given this brand and uh, this makes me ask whether this product this brand will any time be available in india the answer to that is i don't know myself but uh, what i feel is that the ignorance 
Tesla has shown and uh, to not enter into the Indian market, Rivian as a very fresh new brand can take that initiative because they have an R1S SUV coming up. So yes, Rivian should definitely explore an eventual entry into the Indian market. But until then, I think our channel is the first channel to cover, first Indian channel to cover a Rivian. And I might be the first Indian citizen to drive a Rivian. And on that note, thank you for watching.